I wrote down like a full business plan. Each section then becomes the chapters. So I am currently going to the office. It's summer right now, which means we have summer interns this summer. My team doesn't have it, but in the New York office, there are around 50 interns here. One of them actually reached out to me on Slack and she was like, by the way, I watch your YouTube videos. I'm gonna go in and get breakfast with her. I'm gonna use my hand cream as a perfume so that the scent is not too strong. Now back to work. I like to bring my own keyboards and mouse because it feels more familiar and I'm more productive that way. Today's schedule is slightly packed but not too bad. I also posted an IG reel of my work day too so you can check that out on my Instagram. Every few hours once I've made some significant progress, I like to treat myself by going to the snack bar. These Swedish fish are my perfect treat. One is enough though, it's a lot of sugar. I like to do some lighter work while I snack, such as reading presentations, giving feedback on something, or checking on emails. I usually clock out around 5 p.m. We don't really have a rule on how long you have to stay, it's really up to you. So as I mentioned in my last video, I am building my own business analytics online course. I wrote down like a full business plan because I realized there's actually so many things involved in this operation. So the first one is scripting. I wrote the script based on my entire business analysis workflow. You know, I was given a business problem all the way to delivering that presentation. I then chop it up in sections. Each section then becomes the chapters. I think that way it feels more real. I want to teach you step by step, like how I actually actually do it in real time. Actually, let me go to the writing business recommendations chapter since you all really want to learn more about that. In each chapter, I have an intro on what this chapter is about. I think this helps prep you on like what to expect. I have also incorporated some of my personal experiences and tips. And by the way, in terms of pricing, it will be set based on your responses on the survey. Make sure you fill out the survey. There's an English version and a Chinese version. Once the course launches, you will get it out of email with a discount code to ensure that you have the cheapest price possible in terms of timing because I'm still working on it as we speak right now likely September that's like best case scenario if everything goes well so in this chat oh, I didn't click record I'm actually so proud of myself I don't know how to explain it but... no, I'm so stressed <sighs> You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Hi, thank you so much for being here and I'm so excited to bring you along this journey. Today is Friday. My work is really chill on Fridays. I usually get up around like 2, 3. And on Friday afternoons, I try to like meet up with friends or do coffee chats. I am meeting up with one of my viewers. She came to my in-person event in Taiwan when I did one. Can I get an iced decaf latte with oat milk? Is that it for you? Sorry? Is that it for you? Give me 544. Thank you so much. work from home Monday, Wednesday, Fridays mainly because like we only have food in the office from Tuesday to Thursdays I have like a full morning of meetings today I usually just make like this super quick smoothie frozen banana frozen acai pack from Trader Joe's 
And during this time, I also like to start my Roborock as a Pro Ultra vacuum to help me clean. This is where I set on my Roborock vacuum. Roborock is known for their intelligent automatic robot vacuum cleaner, and it only takes minutes to set up the entire thing on the Roborock app. So you can see here, this is like my full apartment and the vacuums can also set up a route avoid obstacles their vacuums comes with powerful cleaning performance and the sa series can vacuum and mop which has saved me so much time it's also super easy to use you can control everything on the app on your cleaning schedule so here you can see i am setting schedule for monday wednesday fridays 8 30 a.m which are the days i work from home and before i start my work the sa pro ultra also comes with a zero maintenance docking system that empties washes refills and even dries itself hey Google, start the Roborock. All the features can help people like me who are busy professionals who want to forget about cleaning and just let Roborock do the job. And when you press the home button on the vacuum, no matter where it is at that moment, it will find its way back to the dock to start charging and washing by itself. Charging. On the days when I'm really busy with, you know, work and YouTube and online course, I just let the Roborock run in the background because I just don't have the time to be honest. So if you also work from home, I highly recommend Roborock as a series to help provide you a fresh and clean workspace so you can focus on what you do best. You can check it out in the link in the bio. got this package it's actually albert he's been waiting for this for five weeks now last month he also got promoted at his job and he thought he would treat himself to this oh, oh my god that is insane oh wait it looks so good it looks so good on a countertop oh. oh, we actually have like two cameras here oh really stressed this fuck Totally his difference. Can you? Oh, this is so, so much better. How? Thank you. So it is currently the weekend. This is what our weekend looks like. We just stay in and like work on our content business. Elber is like back there helping me as well. I think with my 9 to 5 job and content creation, also doing this online course side business. A lot of you, even my friends have always asked me like, how do you just time manage everything? I think the first thing is like, you just have to create more time for yourself. For my typical weekday, it's not just a 9 to 5. There's a pre-morning 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. I check my sponsorship inquiries, I respond to them, and I go into 9 to 5 my job. In the evening, this is where I like to edit because I don't really film at night. My weekends, most of the time, are fully dedicated to my content business. So like full Saturdays, I'm writing the script for my online course. Sunday, I might film something for my next video. In terms of tools, I schedule my entire life on Google Calendar. At work, we already use Google Calendar. So what I do is like I sync my calendar with my personal email. For my personal, I only put the deadlines because I don't want to overcrowd my calendar. So here you can see like uh, on Thursday, I have to post an IG reel. So that gives me a signal of like, okay, use uh, Sunday to film, Monday, Tuesday to edit, Wednesday, I need to do the translation. What's really important after that is doing it, holding yourself accountable and start thinking and brainstorming. I brainstorm everything in my note app and I like it because I don't have the time to build or maintain a template the best ideas don't come when you're like sitting and forcing it they come when you're out and about on the subway on the toilet in the shower so for me it's really important to just like capture them as soon as possible and as easy as possible I don't care how they look I just need them to be in there so that I can work off of it later and I organize my notes by topics all my pinned notes are the topics that I am I've been thinking about top of mind for my YouTube video ideas. This is like the preliminary title I thought about. Usually I go through like rounds of refinement, all my talking points. Oh, and there's also like my grocery lists. You can do to-do lists in here and you can just like check off the list. If you meet me in real life, you'll realize like I'm always brainstorming. I'm always thinking about something. Even my friends, they would tell me, you know, Lily, I feel like you live in your head so much. But when you become an owner in your side hustle, it's a 24 seven thing. And for me, I feel like I'm really like challenging myself, maximizing all the potential that I see myself in. If you also want to start something, just do it because there's really nothing that's stopping you. It is currently Saturday. I was gonna stay home, but 
Elber was like, Lilia, you gotta get out of the house more. It's better for your mental health. I'm also going to wear my new sunglasses out. I got this when I was in Taiwan and I thought it'd be like a little gift for myself. It comes with the bead. I love how sleek the design is. So nice. Sometimes after work, I sit right outside there by the water with my coworkers. Yeah. I feel like this wash will work. Yeah, this looks really good. I like this a lot. This is my favorite store, the Webster. It looks very normal from the outside, but trust me, when we go in, you will see what it looks like. It kind of looks good. That it's a little bit big. Good Thank Monday. you. I know. Thank you for dragging me out. You literally dragged my butt out of the couch. But being outside is so good for like my mental health because yeah. when I'm home, I'm just like thinking about work a lot or like YouTube. Like, what is what is my next video idea? But something I've learned is that. You get the most creative when you're recharging and you're like outside, hanging out, just absorbing everything that the world has to offer. Just got out of work, but I am getting ready to go to a creator event that I was invited to. Up until like 20 minutes ago, I was literally on the couch debating if I should go because I'm just so drained. But then I feel really bad. So I already said yes to the brand. And secondly, Elver is actually coming with me. He's gonna come as my manager. And there are days when I feel like, you know, I can be a superwoman, I can do everything. But there are times like today where I'm just like, I wanna sink into a couch. I don't wanna talk to anyone. When I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed like I am right now, I always remind myself that I'm given so many different opportunities and experiences. Like I'll meet other creators and be able to talk to their friends. It's so much more genuine than, you know, just talking via email thread the whole time. It's really interesting to not only meet the creators, but also people who work with the creators like talent managers or content strategists for youtubers i think they come with a lot more business perspective which i love because i'm a business analyst i'm wearing these timeless earrings from anna luisa he's still working he's on a call right now so you look great thank you we are off to the event did you get a car yeah i booked a lift Starving. How did you like the event, Albert? It's cool. I also met one of my favorite YouTubers at the event. His name is Judd. He used to be a software engineer and then he does like career lifestyle vlogs now. We also met the person who heads up influencer marketing at Grammarly. And we were like, oh my god, it's so good to finally see a face to the name. I think the course description is a little bit hard. I was also using this one as reference. Right. Well, I don't need to go back. Okay, you don't. But yeah, think like a product marketer. Did that help you or no? Not really. But you know, you know, we're like mastering, acing, unlocking. Charlie cuts. Man, this is the grand on the hill. Wait, wait, wait. Don't move. Okay, don't move. Mm -hmm. 
Goedemorgen.